Last night's opening ceremony kind of begins to come into play into why aquaplastics is becoming more important. Because it's very important at the end of yesterday's evening presentation that people are going to live after they have cancer. And they want to live a full and complete life. And they want to sort of forget that they ever had cancer. And that should be part of our goal. And the goal of oncoplastics is to kind of help the physical side of the surgery that's required kind of fade into the background over time. So when we look at the zones of the breast in terms of what we're planning a lumpectomy, how best can we move forward? If you look at the lower zones of the breast, in this lower portion here, those patients will actually have, in my opinion, a relatively poor cosmetic outcome. They'll either have tethering medially, the nipple will usually be pulled in inferiorly, and although they can preserve the breast volume, sometimes the contour isn't exactly what they want. So this is really, these zones here are the ones that you're going to do best with kind of an oncoplastic lift, which is where you're going to rearrange the skin envelope, lift up the remaining breast tissue at the same time as your lumpectomy. These medial zones here do very poorly, in my opinion, with scars directly over them. It's in the cleavage zone, most blouses or things like that, that scar will be permanently visible. Um, the best zones for most lumpectomies are actually out here in the outer uh, quadrants for those. Almost even with large tumors, you can pretty much get away with kind of a standard closure. And historically in the past, central lumpectomies were always considered a poor choice, but there actually are some um, options for those patients as well. And all of these options are predicated on a medium to large size breast. Most lumpectomy will have a specimen removal rate of approximately 50 to 100 grams or even 150 grams. When you think about a breast reduction for someone who has large breasts that's getting reduced, that, that range is around 500 grams. So you need to have a relatively large enough breast to do all of this. Smaller breasted patients, it's gonna be harder to do any kind of larger lumpectomy. They're gonna do best with very small tumors and or with a completion mastectomy. Let me go to the next slide. She had, um, multiple areas after neoadjuvant chemotherapy that were still of concern to a large specimen removed that's 298 grams which is very consistent with what you would expect with the breast reduction and this was her pre-op and then her post chemotherapy images so some of the downsides of oncoplastic surgery when you really are rearranging huge amounts of breast parenchyma and huge amounts of breast skin and then what do you do when you have a positive margin you really have to have a very clear idea of how you're going to approach that um, there's at least a 3 to 4% conversion rate in most centers from a large reduction mammoplasty type lift to a mastectomy. Dr. Silverstein is an absolute advocate of never having a mastectomy and that's why his conversion rate is so low. And I applaud him for that, however, very few other centers would kind of reproduce that. A 3% to 4% conversion rate would be very acceptable. And there's a number, about 7 to 8 percent of patients that will have to go back for a positive margin. And this is where you have to be very careful in terms of how you interact with your pathology department, because these are large pieces of tissue, you've rearranged everything, where exactly do you go back? What margin do you actually go after? Um, for myself, we have six colors of ink in the operating room. The specimen comes out and I ink it myself, because I know exactly what's superior, inferior, medial, and lateral. And then that way you give your pathologist a fighting chance. And actually you help yourself out in the end in terms of if you do have to go back, where exactly you go back to. Um, so say you can't continue with the breast preservation and now you're talking about a mastectomy. Well, not all mastectomies are the same. Um, you need to, these are some of the things to consider. Is the tumor large relative to the breast size? The patient's unwillingness to undergo radiation therapy, obviously inflammatory carcinomas won't qualify, previous radiation and inability for patient um, follow-up.